Welcome to week one of the playoffs, or what the WIAA is calling the culminating event. It's been such a crazy week with scheduling, teams moving locations, canceling, forfeiting, dropping out of the postseason to play other teams, rescheduling. It's been a mess, but we still have some playoff football for two weeks, and we're going to enjoy it. Let's start with eight player McDonald's Central at home trying to end the season with a winning record. They've got Siren at DeRay Field tonight. How's this for a start? First drive, Tanner Opsel to a wide open Dale Tetrald who takes it in. Max with an early 8-0 lead. Next Max drive, they're in the red zone. Opsel's going to punch it in himself this time. It's 14-0. We are still in the first quarter. Another productive series for the Max. It ends with Opsel to Noah Hansen. It's 28-0 after one quarter. Talk about a strong offensive night. The Max wins 64-16. Okay, Division Two. Rice Lake gets a rematch with Medford. Medford starts with the ball. Quarterback Logan Baumgartner airing it out. It's intended for Carson Church, but a warrior gets in the way. Under five minutes to play in the first. Rice Lake with the ball. Cole Fenske going deep. It's caught, and it's going to go 83 yards for a touchdown. Rice Lake is on the board first. The Warriors' defense coming up huge in the first half, and again in the second. Rice Lake holds on for a 20-14 win, so both of Medford's losses this season have come to Rice Lake. Elsewhere in Division Three, Eltuna on the road at Baldwin Woodville to take on those Blackhawks. Eltuna hanging in there early on until Isaiah Randall takes the handoff, bounces outside, rumbling his way all the way down to the one yard line. And on the very next play, the Blackhawks give it to Randall one more time, finishes what he started. Baldwin with an 8 0 lead after the two point conversion. But the ground game just too much for Eltuna tonight. Senior Carson Lee takes it this time, makes a few moves, bulldozes his way in for six more. Baldwin Woodville gets the big win, 50 to six, your final. Elsewhere in Division Three, Ellsworth wins its first home playoff game in seven years. The Panthers beat Somerset 44 to nothing. Northwestern a 14 nothing win at St. Croix Central. Division Four, great game here between St. Croix Falls and Bloomer. It was cold, but the fans were excited, and they were rewarded with a great game. First quarter, Saints with Kenneth Miner. He pushes through the middle to the end zone. Saints on the board first. It's later 7-6 to six Saints. They're threatening once again to give to Matthew Oy this time, and he sneaks in for another score. But the Blackhawks answer with 49 seconds left until halftime. Jack Strand goes for the pass. Charlie Herrick has got it for six. That's a touchdown. Bloomer back within two at the half. Great game. The Saints do just enough to hang on. They win 28-26 on the road. Okay, number one, Stratford against Nielsville Grant in a fast-paced start for Stratford. Opening drive, second and goal. Colton Schlinger punches it in. Tigers up 8-0, and they would just keep pounding. Next drive, in the red zone again. Play action, Max Vanderhoof to Bo Gross. He's in for another score. Tiger fans with lots to cheer about. The Warriors try to get some momentum in the second quarter. Braden Trunkel looking for a receiver, but it's going to be a sack instead. Stratford would capitalize off of that. Nielsville Granton shut out tonight by a final of 38 to nothing. Elsewhere in D4, Elk Mound top Spooner 20 to 14 in an overtime thriller. And Cumberland wins big over Spencer Columbus Catholic 42 to 8. The Beavers are still unbeaten. Mondovi and Luther up next. It was a fast start for the Buffaloes. Tanner Marsh had a huge night. Stampedes his way to a long touchdown run here. It's 6-0 Mondovi in the first quarter. Next possession. It's Marsh again through a big hole, breaking tackles. Look at the footwork. 28 yards on that score. Mondovi up 14-0 Marsh with nearly 400 yards of offense as Mondovi wins big 34-0. Elsewhere, Spring Valley takes care of Unity 47 to 8. Grantsburg holds off Durand in the final minute to win 38 to 30. Division 6, Blair Taylor trying to go 7 and 0 on the season. The Wildcats hosting CFC, a rematch from earlier this year. First quarter, Wildcat defense, they get the night started in a big way. Quarterback escapes the sack, but not for long. Look up behind you, Matthew Brandenburg forces the fumble. Braden Burleso right there. He's going to go the rest of the way. Scoop and score. Wildcats with an 8-0 lead. And that Wildcat defense not done yet. Bisson looking to pass again. This one's going to be picked off by Colton Legner. 
and he's headed the other way into Pirate territory. That Blair Taylor defense has been awesome. It sets up this pitch to the outside. Brandenburg says, I'll take it from here. Tough running from the 5'8 senior. He's into the land of six points. 16-0 Wildcats. Blair Taylor cruises to a victory tonight, 37-8. Elsewhere in D6, Boyceville beats Webster in overtime, 14-12. Loyal takes care of Independence Gilmanton, 20 to nothing.